Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and guys today what I have for you is the team of the year for Madden 16. Guys, if you don't know, this is a promo that Madden does every single year and it's definitely one of the most sought after promos every year. Usually you get some of the best cards that come out. I mean, at least at this point in the season, they're definitely the best cards that have come out at most of the positions other than like, you know, the top end legends. But these cards are definitely competitive with anything that's currently in the game. And usually they're going to be better than just about anything that you're going to see in the game currently. A lot of this stuff will tank the market on other things as well. So guys, with that being said, what I want to do at this point is hop in and take a look at the actual items that are a part of the team of the year promo this year so let's start off guys with the offense and there it is for you on your screen sorry about the picture quality this is you know taken from the ea blog so it's not the best of quality hopefully we get something a little bit better at some point but you can at least read the names uh starting on the offensive line we've got joe thomas mike Yapati, ryan khalil marshall yonda brian bulaga and then we have at tight end tyler eifert now, wide receiver, we already knew DeAndre Hopkins was going to be one of the two wide receivers. We also got a Brandon Marshall. And then at wide receiver three, we got something kind of interesting, Tyler Lockett. Now, I'm going to assume that this Tyler Lockett is there because they don't have a specific kick returner. And uh, so obviously Tyler Lockett kind of fills that role. This card is going to be very, very fast, very, very shifty, and it's probably going to have 99 kick return as well. So uh, definitely a cool card to have. I don't think his receiving attributes made him worthy of being, you know, a wide receiver three for team of the year. But because he had such a great year doing the uh, returning game, uh, I definitely think it makes sense to actually put him here in the team of the year because of that. So uh, although, like I said, I wish we would have gotten an additional wide receiver and then him as like a specific kick returner card but you know what are you gonna do anyway um adding on we've also got a russell wilson here at quarterback a doug martin at running back and a john coon at fullback now i know you guys are looking at this list right now and saying hey why isn't cam newton on this list why isn't uh adrian peterson on this list you know what happened with let's say antonio brown and julio jones all right here's the deal guys a lot of you seem to not understand this and i don't know why um they are still going to do an additional uh, hero set as positional heroes beyond this, okay? So these aren't the best cards from the year. These aren't the best players. This is like the second tier of best players, if that makes sense. So guys that really had a great year, but they weren't the absolute best player at their position. Does that make sense? Positional heroes still coming out, guys, in a couple of weeks, maybe a month. I have I honestly I have no idea when they're coming out, but... There's going to be additional cards that, you know, reward the best players from this year. So don't freak out that your favorite player didn't make it. It probably means that he is going to be the positional hero. Like, for example, tight end. We know Rob Gronkowski is going to be the positional hero tight end. Like, I don't think there's any debating that. So, um... Don't freak out that he's not on here again. Don't freak out that, you know, Cam Newton's not at quarterback and, and uh, you know, the wide receivers and all that stuff. Try not to freak out, okay, guys? Like I said, there's still going to be more to come. All right, so let's take a look at the defense then, and this is what we've got on defense. We've got Reggie Nelson at free safety, Demarcus Ware at right outside linebacker, Clay Matthews in the middle, Jamie Collins at left outside linebacker, and then Cam Chancellor at strong safety. We do also have Akib Talib and Richard Sherman at at cornerback Ezekiel Ansah and Muhammad Wilkerson playing the defensive end positions and then anchoring the middle of your defensive line you're going to have Geno Atkins and Aaron Donald all great players all definitely deserving this year in my personal opinion of being in the team of the year and then obviously we have the two special teamers the punter and the kicker John Hecker Dan Bailey great players uh Dan Bailey Cowboys best player this year sadly enough in my opinion but uh that is the list as far as the actual players go on defense so I'm going to let that sink in for just a moment here but then guys we do also have collectibles for team of the year so uh these are going to be available in packs it sounds so uh here are the collectibles you can take a look at them um, I'm not going to go through each one of these but apparently these are going to be in packs it sounds like so you can either pull these in packs and then put them into a set to be able to get yourself a guaranteed elite team of the week or team of the year excuse me player um, or you can uh, sell them I think 
It kind of sounds like you're going to be able to sell them as well. But there is also, according to the uh, the Madden Ultimate Team blog, it says that if you don't get the collectible that you need, because apparently you're going to need all 10 of these. It's not going to be like some of the other sets that they've had where, you know, like the superlatives one where it didn't matter which one that you had, which superlatives collectible you pulled. Uh, you can put, you know, any 10 of them into the set. This, it sounds like you definitely do need these specific 10. You need one of each. So, you know, that's going to make it a little bit more difficult, but it does say that there will be a re-roll set, meaning that you'll be able to put one of those in and uh, re-roll it. I think you'll probably have to put something else in it, like maybe an elite badge or something. Maybe I have no idea what else it'll be. I don't hold that to me by any means, but you'll put one of those cards in along with something else. You'll re-roll it and you'll have a chance to get the collectible that you need. Um but with that being said, guys, there is also one additional way for you to get a guaranteed elite Team of the Year player, and that's if you've done all of the Team of the Week solos throughout the year and you got the Team of the Week Master Set completed. If you got that collectible, you will be able to put that in, and you will be also able to get yourself a free elite Team of the Year player. It's going to be a random one, so, you know... It could be somebody great. It could be somebody mediocre. But um, at the end of the day, that is a free guaranteed team of the year player, just like we thought it would be throughout the whole year. And uh, that's definitely going to be something that's pretty nice to have. So if you guys grinded out those solos, you're definitely going to get rewarded on it. So uh, there you have it, guys. That is going to be the uh, team of the year cards for this year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, do me a favor. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.